Okay, here we have three different styles of origami glasses. The first one is your traditional all-lens origami glasses. Very cool. The second one, I added a frame on to it just to give it a different look. Looks really cool. Also like this one. Very cool. And then third, I noticed we didn't have any glasses for the ladies, so I made some female glasses. I modeled these after the oversized glasses that are so popular right now, so here they are. Now we have a him and her pair of glasses. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make the origami sunglasses with frames. This is a fairly simple model to make. I'm going to do my best to explain it clearly, make it easy to follow. I will go pretty slow so you should be able to follow along with the video. Uh, if I do go too fast, feel free to pause it and just restart it at will. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a single sheet of paper. I'm using the American printer paper, um, uh, the letter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my first fold from this corner to this corner. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to fold that right there, and once I have those corners lined up, I'm going to hold this down, run my finger back, and then I will crease this down. For the second fold, I'm going to take this edge here, and I'm going to line it up with this edge, and then crease it. So line that up there, and I will crease that back. Okay, so at this point what we're going to do is we're going to unfold it all the way. And you'll notice we're going to have three valley folds and one mountain fold. Well, we're going to do a reverse fold for this mountain fold, but don't worry, this is going to be easy. So we're going to go to the side here where we got the valley fold. We're going to fold that down. Then we're just going to run our finger across and reverse that fold. Alright, at this point what we're going to do is I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to line it up just before where this paper comes together, staying centered on this crease. So I'm going to go about there, make sure my crease lines up with the crease and the V of the paper, line back, and I will crease that down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip the paper over, and we're going to make this fold. We're going to take this um, the back side of this paper and then we're going to fold it up here but we're going to fold it behind this sheet here. So in other words we're not going to come all the way up here we're going to fold it right to this edge here. We're going to use this crease line to make sure we're centered. Lining up with that. Line up with that side and we're going to crease that down. Okay, so to show you, what we did is we just lined up here with this sheet here. Probably just a little behind it. That's good because when we do our next fold, it's going to push this outer sheet down a little bit. So now I'm going to take this back side here, and I'm going to fold it up just before the end of this paper. I'm going to make sure I'm lined up on the crease. Pinch that down and crease it. So I feel I'm totally aligned. I will just crease that down. All right, so at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take these two tips here and then we're just going to fold them back. This you can fold to taste. If you wanted it real narrow, you can come way far back here, but we're just going to do a little fold here. About like that. Do the same to this side. Try and keep them even. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to find the edge of this paper here, right where it meets. I'm going to put my thumb down here. I'm going to lift this. And then I'm going to fold this down, keeping this edge lined up with this edge. And I will pinch that down. And I'll let that go, and I'm going to do the same to this side. So I'm going to use my finger, lift it up, line up the back edges, and pinch that down. 
we open that up and there we have the origami sunglasses with frames okay well I hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you've liked it if this has helped you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial